Welcome to Pantheon U. I'm your co-host D, aka Chill. And today we will discuss singers who some feel will never make a comeback. Um, singers who will never make a comeback uh, in the music industry. Today I was reading an article that was written by Fame 10. And they listed about 16 artists, but I'm going to only talk about 5 or 6. Um, because they really stuck out to me. Um, I really disagree with most of, most of the artists that made the list, but we're going to we're going to talk about them because some of these artists they really made me scratch my head and think like what happened to some of these people. The first of which is Ashanti. Um they said Ashanti will never make a comeback in her career, which I would definitely have to agree with them on that one. Um personally, I feel Ashanti would have never had a career had not been for the untimely death of Aaliyah. Her platform was strictly, ba well, I say loosely based on Aaliyah's career or whatever. I think Murder Inc. completely capitalized on the void that the music in industry was missing a single uh, solo female artist. And I think um, due to the untimely death of Aaliyah, um, Ashanti was that person to fill the gap. Was she the greatest person for the gap? No, they could have... I mean, Sierra was out there during that time or was coming out during that time. Um, I think they could have picked a slew of other people. I personally think Ashanti didn't have the vocals, um, nor does she have the sex appeal that a lot of people had. Um, the most important question to me today is, do you think Ashanti can make a, a comeback? Probably not. I think she's better than Miley Cyrus, but... Yet again, 23 was Miley Cyrus' best record ever, and I wish they would have took a wrecking ball to that, too. Um, but to check in on Ashanti's career, today she has, um, she owns her own publishing company. Um, she released her fifth album, which was Braveheart. She released that during the later, uh, later in the year of 2014, I think it was around October, um, she's also partnered with uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, which uh, they raise money to research um, a cure for sickle cell, which is really cool to me because sickle cell is one of the deadliest disease diseases in the black community. So I really do want to give her all praise for what she's doing in that community. Um, she starred in several movies. Uh, of course, later on in 2015, there will be a movie release starring her called Stuck. It sounds really interesting. It was produced by Michael Berry. I would love to see how that goes. But the most important question today is, do you think Ashanti could make a comeback in the music industry? No. I stand by that no. Um, the next person on Fame's Tens list, and I completely uh, disagree with anyone who ever signed off on this article, they said Monica could never make a comeback in her career. I think they're out of their mind. And this is my being. She has a classic voice. Monica has one of the most recognized voice in the world. She's right up there with Mariah Carey. I will even list Beyonce. Um, Monica is just a classic artist. Her vocal range is outstanding she has a nice raspy voice i really do believe that she could come back and make a stellar career especially in today's time um i would really love to see monica go into some modeling because she's gorgeous i could i could see monica on the cover of maybe vogue or doing a little runway action i know she's a little short but still she's really gorgeous print i think she could definitely pull it off um, I absolutely believe she can make a comeback in the music industry at any time that she feels. Will she probably? Maybe behind the scenes. Or I think Monica is busy living life. She's a mother. She's married to Shannon Brown, a, a stellar player in the NBA. She's busy being a mom. She's living her life. Of course, we all know she works as a, um as a nurse in her spare time, which I think is really cool. She's really humble enough to say, hey, I have a lot of money. I don't have to work a day in my life, but this is something that I always wanted to do. So she went out there on the limb and she did it. Um, 
as far as Monica, I will forever bang. Um, don't uh, don't take it personal. And before you walk out my life, I think those. I do a video shoot in my head every time those come on my Pandora, which is crazy to me. Um, I would love to see a new release from Monica. Anything that she will put out. Um, another artist that made the list. And at this point in time, I truly started scratching my head at, while I was reading the article. And I was like, I can't believe they're listing some of these people. But they listed Brandy. And we've all seen the Facebook post that's going around with Brandy. And she's uh, doing her vocals and she's doing her run-throughs. She even did one for like Subway and um, in the video, you'll see it. Go look it up. I really do. Um, but I think her vocal range is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I believe she could make a comeback at any time that she wanted. And I believe she would dominate the music industry. Um, if I was her uh, record label, I would definitely pair Brandy with uh, Ariana Grande, Estelle, Adele, Drake, Nicki Minaj. I know the last two is a real stretch. But hey, I would... I would do this cash money or young money. Um, if, if you will have, they could really benefit from having a artist of her magnitude on their label and pair with their rappers. I mean, if Drake can work with Beyonce, Nicki Minaj can work with, um, all the people that she works with. Why not Brandy? Um, Think about it. Brandy has already been paired with Queen Latifah, MC Light, Patti LaBelle, Kanye West. Why not? I think Brandy could definitely make a comeback in her career at any time. Well, what is she doing now? As we all know, she's starting to, uh, she starred on the series The Game that's produced by BET. And she's um, she's went from a recurring role to a walk-on um, a walk-on um well, she went from a main cast member to a recurring walk-on role, which is really cool. Um, I definitely hope she's headed back to the studio with being dropped down from that uh, that type of acting. Um, I, I definitely, I definitely think Brandy could definitely make a comeback. Um, now, the next artist, I must admit, should have been number one on the list, Cisco. He couldn't come back if he wanted to. Although, I did just watch an interview. He was on The Real or The Wendy Williams Show. I'm definitely thinking The Real because I don't like Wendy Williams. Um, but I think the boy band turned solo artist type. He was already doing too much in his prime to come back. He, I think Cisco is almost 40 now. I really don't think a comeback is in his future. Like, he was already outlandish, the platinum blonde hair. Um, no one was truly ready for Cisco in his prime. And I don't think the younger artist, the younger generation will be able to take Cisco in his prime now. So, definitely, I hope he's done a lot of uh, growing and maturing over the years. I would love to see a lot of his work. I would love to see some of his work as of now. But. I don't think a, a comeback is in his future, um, but I do wish him most, most of luck in his endeavors. Um, the another artist, <laughs> I agree, will uh, make. A, I agree, she probably will never make a comeback, and partly because of the reason is because she's rumored to be the mistress to Jay Z, and we all know you cannot play with the Beehive, honey. If you're trying to have a career, Beyonce is not one person you can come from. Um, as just ask Karuchi. I mean, Maya, you, you, you messing with the, the queen bee's husband and you think you're going to have a career, honey? Nah. Um, you see what happened to Karuchi when they came for Blue Ivy? I think Beyonce will have your career shut the hell down and you're going to go back to probably a one bedroom loft with no electricity. So just give it up. Although she um, is producing, she is producing music. She has several um, self-released albums. She's been steadily producing since 2009. I went on her fan page earlier throughout the week. This is researched information. Don't take me wrong. But I don't think Maya will ever have a career ever again. 
uh, but that concludes my list. You guys, um, if you disagree with me, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know all in the comments below. I will do my best to um, reply in a expeditious manner. Uh, just leave your comments below. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in to Pantheon uh, TV right here. I'm your girl D, aka Chill. I hope to look. I'm looking forward to your comments. Have a great night.